way back in 2013 was primarily into research based services from there the Hi guys and welcome to another video by Mentimes YouTube channel my name is Alan Arundhan and again we are back with another interview preparation this time we are covering a company called as decimal point now decimal point as you can see it on the screen it's a techno finance function okay so uh, before i jump into what kind of questions uh, or what areas of preparation do we actually need to do uh, it would be very wise to discuss a little bit on what decimal point does because decimal point way back in 2013 was primarily into research based services from there the company has actually gone into various fronts and majorly uh, the provider of data solutions all right so if you can see it on the screen it's pretty evident that they call themselves as data analytics and financial research solution initially they were just into financial research now they obviously get into they've got into various other functions in data but majorly what i have seen uh, in terms of what decimal point does is not into research a lot but majorly into data solutions and automations right so there are various case studies which you can actually refer to uh, which is actually there in the decimal point website if you want actually i'll take you through uh, some of them which will probably open up your minds in terms of uh, the kind of work they are actually doing okay so let me just open up my screen here so let's get into decimal point there you go it's interesting to see this because then it gives you uh, also an idea about whether this is the kind of company that you want to actually get into or not and for some it might be very interesting because uh, it, it, after a long time i've seen actually a function which uh, requires both finance as well as a, a little bit of it skills right so let's let's try to look at uh, some of uh, the functions which actually uh it's a very simple solution that the company is actually providing but probably there are a lot of clients for it right so uh, if you look at this case study so they've given a lot of case studies uh, for whom they have actually provided the solutions so for here the client is basically is running a portfolio management services obviously not in india it's out of middle east and they had trouble with tracking a lot of uh, nevs of their mutual fund investments uh because there were so many types of mutual fund investments that they had done and hence they required uh you know some assistance in automating this process and you know also uh, refining this process so that tracking this tracking about this becomes much much easier right so if you look here uh what is the solution that they actually provided right so what they did is at the outset our uh, outset we helped john develop the automated process to manage the equity in fashion comp portfolio which is pretty obvious further we provide him with a consolidated model for all the portfolios which give him a gist of all the investments so they basically created a system by which the portfolio manager is able to get a gist of what exactly is happening across various investments that the company has done right the end report for the equity portfolio contain historical records of the trades made nav summary to date also right and for the fixed income portfolios we provided fact sheets so basically what you know decimal point and nutshell is doing is is that it is solving a lot of investment uh, companies is data automation problems right is that can be problem because primarily when any finance company you know starts with the process they will start you know by using excel and then you know slowly and steadily they progress into automation right and that's the kind of solution that decimal point is actually offering right now which brings us to the question about what is the job role right so as an analyst so the the role obviously is not although they might call it as a research analyst but i don't believe that that's actually a research analyst position because this is more of a business analyst position right so out here in the middle are you as an analyst and then you've got your developers on one hand you've got your clients on other hand and you've got the problems of your clients on the other hand now you as the finance techno guy is the one who is able to understand the problems of the client can communicate the same because you also understand a little bit of technique uh, you know the technical stuff of development and hence you are also able to communicate that to your developers 
and also make sure that whatever is coming out of this entire development process is fi finally is what you actually targeted for right so that's where the job description says manage data driven research reports communication with clients on project updates because you are the only one who can actually communicate this on a technical front right managing data driven projects and research reports assist team members in resolving technical issues and financial data problems so majorly you can say of a business analyst position but you require finance knowledge as well as you require some knowledge in the coding front as well right salary is obviously decimal point i would not say that it is at the higher end it is a good start for someone to begin your career but obviously uh, you know on the longer front uh, the company is not a very big pay master right although they have offices in three areas three cities they have uh, one in gujarat one in nasik and one also in mumbai right so the interview process is actually technical and hr pretty straight forward uh, now if you understand the kind of solutions that the company is actually providing right so the company is providing solutions for mutual fund clients they're providing solutions for research clients they're providing solutions for you know companies in general they are also providing solutions to uh, you know investment banking operations companies right so hence the business analyst is expected to know uh, you know a little bit of everything right so for example he needs to know what are the various kinds of asset classes he needs to know what is the derivative he also needs to know you know how these assets actually work right he also needs to know how these financial statements work he also needs to know basic corporate actions like dividend payment you know what is the dividend cut off date right what is a stock split what is a bonus all of this is required because your client might have that problem in their data and then you cannot be like i don't understand what this term means general economics is required because if you providing data basis uh you know let's say you're providing data of economic updates of the world you need to know what you know mclr rate is what is your you know repo rate what is your inflationary scenario in india all of this understanding is required and of course if you see a lot of solutions are also provided in excel and if you have to work with excel of providing data solutions then obviously excel has to be a very strong point for you at least in terms of decimal point right so let's look at some of the questions here so straight forward you can now relate with the solution that they are providing and that's what is exactly is happening in the interview that is why i suggest a lot of candidates to actually look at the job description first and half of the questions which can be expected in the interview can be predicted right so the question is asking you about nev calculation how are you calculating nev what is a cash flow statement technical questions about although this might look like a very technical question but it's actually a very basic question on what is an mbs and what is an abs right asset backed security in mbs right so mortgage backed security is when you're taking loans you know a lot of home loans and you are you know building it together and making it together and then you're selling sub parts of the loan as a bond right that's nothing but mbs right general ratios of or calculations like cost of equity because the, again these are information that the company will be presenting in their uh, data solution and hence you must be aware of what these are right what is a mutual fund again nav calculation how does dcf uh, quantitative measures work what is a zero coupon bond a bond without any coupon is a zero coupon bond right so there is just a bond which you buy and then the final value is what you actually get uh, questions related to economy as i said uh, basic economy so you can actually read ibef reports which will give you a sense of what is ex exactly going on in the economy and you have to develop this general interest right what is the interest rate scenario in the world what is the inflationary scenario in the world what are the various uh, you know central banks doing for it and how are the growth rates of various economies right? all of this information is just nothing but general macro economics right <laughs> then you can see uh, what is an mclr ratio that is very specific to banking right so again that you should be aware of you should understand the various financial statement linkages which is common across any finance interview right the difference between expansionary and contractionary monetary policy right so monetary policy is the way by which a bank is controlling how money is flowing across a country right? so you can say that the interview is not very deep 
right? It's not as deep as a research in based interview. But again, you need to know at an awareness level a lot of concept, right? And uh, that can happen if you are able to get hold of some, you know, books like, for example, the CFA level one equity valuation, uh, derivative fixed income, uh, you know, questions and basic economics of CFA level one content. I'm not saying you have to do CFA. And all I'm saying is you can just get rid of the uh, get, get hold of the books and read these four to five topics. And I think that should be enough in terms of, uh, you know, you master in this interview. And of course, you need to know a little bit of financial modeling because again, uh, there are questions related to financial modeling, which of course, like for example, DCF valuation that you cannot explain unless and until you have uh, you know, done it personally, right? So that's a simple video on decimal point uh, interview. Uh, at a general level, I would suggest this company when, if you are a fresher and you are just starting off and you want to gain some experience, so a couple of years with decimal point can give you the edge into getting into better companies. And of course, if you grow in decimal point, nothing like it. You can also grow as a manager in decimal point. But again, you have to be aware that it is not completely an equity research role. It's a mix of techno finance function, which I feel that in the longer run will grow much more. Right. So that's a short video on decimal point interview preparation. I'll be back again with another company. Uh, and it's interview preparation next week. See you again. Bye-bye.